Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for the next generation vectorizer contour trace. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a shadow board in three easy steps. With contour trace, we can design a shadow board in less than 10 minutes. All we need is just a few images of the scene and the contour trace application. So, let's jump in and get started. Step 1. Photograph the scene. First, we will need to lay out and photograph the tools for which we are trying to manufacture a shadow board. The scene that we are trying to photograph for the shadow board consists of multiple tools laid out on a wide plane. If we tried to photograph the whole scene in one image, the image will have a perspective error, which will generate an inaccurate result during the extraction of the contours. To mitigate this issue, we will be using a process known as image stitching. For image stitching, we will be taking multiple photos of the scene, where each image shall photograph only a portion of the scene and every subsequent image will have some overlap between them. But each photograph will always maintain the object of interest framed centrally. Also, photograph one image of the whole scene. As you may have noticed, we are using a light board to photograph our scene. We are doing as such to eliminate shadows created by light sources. But if you do not have a light board, using an external light source is also good. Once all images are photographed, we can now stitch them together in contour trace. Step 2. Stitching Images Open the image stitching module in contour trace and add all images of the scene. It is important to ensure that the image that photographed the whole scene is on top of the list. Then start image stitching. This is the final stitched image. Step 3. Design the shadow board. Next, take this stitched image and open it on the original operator. Now, we extract the contours. Provide a scale for the extracted contours. This will allow contour trace to represent the image with the correct dimensions. Now, for the tools to fit into their recesses, we will provide an offset of 0.5 mm. Let us compare it with the original we will make small adjustments. Looks like everything fits fine now. Next, we design the recessed handles. We can now export the drawing. We will export it to the DXF format. The DXF file can now be used for manufacturing, for example on a laser cutting machine, or to model a 3D object in CAD software, from which a shadow board can then be milled. That is all for this video.
Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.